Hello, welcome back to The Freak Show. Bumpy Mix Squiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Tales of Berseria. And, of course, the expedition's back. We need to send it back out and... Stuff. Right. We're just not getting anything from this place. Mm. Oh, here we go. Diomel Islands. That's where we're going to head then. Alright, so there's still quite a few more people to talk to. Of course, we're still going to go see if Laffy Set really is alive and what is going on in this town because all these people were dead. Because Velvet ate them all. We miss you, Velvet. Or we missed you, Velvet. Look. Off. Othelina, Othelina became a mommy while you were gone. This new little kitten is called Othelina. That's too many things. Meow. Mew Mew. What? Hey, it's Velvet. I haven't seen you since I was a kid. You're still a kid. Luffy. Luffy's alive? What's wrong? What the? Well, that didn't break it. Next time you suspect an illusory art, test out your theory on yourself. You think we're all seeing an illusion? It's <laughs> possible. It wouldn't be the first time. That's Let true too. Entire village? That shouldn't be possible. Shouldn't be? No. How do we approach this? Try to break it apart at the seams somehow? No. For now, we and our enemies share the same goal. Come on. Help me look for the Therian. Sure. I think I'll stick with Velvet. I won't stop you. Keep a close eye on her. I don't think she's entirely right in the head at the moment. Yeah, no yeah. kidding. Are we switching characters? No? Okay. Velvet, is it is it really you? You're alive! I'm so glad Nico was right all along! Have you seen Lavi said he's been waiting for you? Nope, can't say that I have. Kind of on the account that he's dead. That is true, the illusion. I did forget about that. They do have the ability to create some rather crafty and believable illusions. Um, before we leave, let's... Before we leave, before we go to the next area, let's make sure we looted everything that we were supposed to loot. I apparently missed a chest somewhere. Hello, chest. Where are you? Are we going to go, like, into the group of people and then to the right? Yeah, there it is. It's a resistance ring. Yes. That's great. Alright, so, that being said... Let's head on to the next area in this really, really creepy town. That shouldn't really exist anymore. Well, the good news is we get our boogie board thing going here soon. But not quite yet. My home. It hasn't changed a bit. We need to be careful, Velvet. Aizen thinks this could be a trap. You think Nico and everyone are being controlled? I don't know. It's just... You think it could be Melchior's doing. But even so... What the? Not going to work on me. You're insane. What did she just do? People can fight against pain, but... They can't fight against hope. I won't be deceived by this. You'll open your wound. I think that's the point, man. Maybe you use your non-demon hand to touch him. You're warm. Luffy, you're really alive. Mm. Luffy, he's been asleep ever since that day. I found him at the shrine. Collapsed on the ground. His wounds healed, but he's never woken up. If he's still alive, that's all that matters. I 
I'll find a way to wake you again, Luffy. I swear I will. We'll be together. Eh. Well, very disturbing stuff, guys and girls. I still have to thank you for this comb after all. So, that's where Velvet's comb came from. Bye, Magilu. Well, that's just disturbing. Did Lord Artorius really try to sacrifice such a defenseless child? Yep. What's wrong, Lafayette? You don't look like your usual perky self. Who would? I'm... I'm okay. I'm just glad Velvet's all right. What? Your name is Lafayette, too? <laughs> what a weird coincidence! Uh, yeah. Completely. Hey, sorry about all that, you guys. Don't worry about it. What are we going to do now? Probably get killed. If it were me, I'd make Luffy said something he really likes for dinner tonight. He can handle soup. Maybe he'll notice the smell of your cooking and it'll wake him up. Yeah, maybe I should. Would you watch after him while I go buy what I need? Of course. I am at your beck and call. Mm -hmm. Is there anything I can do to help too? Yes, please. I'll need you to be my taste tester. That's that's true. I wonder if they've located the Therian. Let's just leave that to them. You're not curious? Of course I am. But for right now, I want to stay close to Velvet. I've got a really bad feeling about this. Yep. Something more important than finding the Therian? Yeah. My stomach is twisted, and I've got a chill up my spine. I'm really scared. Very well. I trust your feelings. We'll leave the Therian to Rokuro and Aizen, and stay with Velvet then. Thanks, Eleanor. Magilu, what will you do? Whatever I feel like. Perfect. <sighs> I shouldn't have asked. Thanks anyway, Magilu. Are you sure you're doing the right thing? In the end, whatever happens, happens. Wiser words never spoken, right? <sighs> All right, first I'm going to whip up my special quiche. Ew. And then I'll throw in tomato and egg soup and some food. I didn't even know your face had smile muscles. <clears throat> All right, that was a little funny. Wait, what? Yeah, I'll take some red lavender. I didn't even know your face had smile muscles. Well, I guess we're going to go gather ingredients for dinner. Boogie boarding through town. Yeah. Something is preventing me from using the Ifo Beepo Beepo bottle. That doesn't seem good. Velvet, you will be living here again, right? We'll do whatever we can to help out with Laffy Set. Thanks, it means a lot. Not to change the subject, but have you got sexier since you were gone? Oh, come on, you creep. Well... Hmm. Define sexier. I pray every day that Laffy Set wakes up again soon. Laffy Set talks in his sleep sometimes. He says things like, Please be safe, sis. And now his sister is back home. I'm sure he'll recover in no time. Yeah, me too, Artorius. Uh-huh. Hmm. How, how doth I get up there? Is there a way to, like, leap up there? Oh, no. No, there isn't. It's going to be along the back side, it looks like. Well, there's a lot of people to talk to. There's a long-eared pig with a chicken on its back. Because, I mean, like, that's a thing. It's been a while, Velvet. I've really grown up since the last time you saw me, right? I'm a whole inch taller now. Wow. Look at how tall you've gotten. Alright. Hooray! Velvet's back! Let's roast a whole rapig and celebrate. It's been a long time, hasn't it, Velvet? 
I wanted to apologize to you for ages now. Apologize? What for? That business with Arthur. Back then, I said he seemed like a fraud. I know you took it pretty hard. But if he wasn't there three years ago, our village would have been destroyed. I'm sorry I doubted him. I didn't trust him then either. I only realized how amazing of a person he was when he saved all of our lives. <sighs> I'm ashamed of myself. All this time we've been feeling terrible, thinking we may have driven you to leave the village. Please, forgive us. That's not... I, I didn't... Where have you been these past three years? It must have been tough living on your own, without any family to help you. <sighs> Sorry, you don't have to talk about it if it hurts. But if you ever feel like talking, we're here for you. I know we can't make up for all the pain we put you through, but if there's anything we can do, just ask. And if you'd like, you're always welcome to come back. The whole village would welcome you with open arms. Huh. Well, that's interesting. If you need a hand with anything, let me know. It's no bother, honest. That's right. A ball will always be your hometown. Except it's not. And it never will be. Swear to me. Wait, what? Why isn't a Rokuru over here? What do you need? Er, sorry. You do what you need to. We'll be fine on our own. Like, what do you need? Sorry. Mm, it's, not, it's a nice, peaceful village at first glance, anyway. Mm -hmm. What's up? Hey. No, but you're back. Look, I've got another baby. Oh, a boy this time. Yeah, doesn't he look strong? Velvet, I'm getting married next month. You came back at just the right time. I promise you'll come to my wedding. Really? I wouldn't miss it for the world. Oh, you'll miss it for something. Of that, we can be a darn certain. D -d 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 darn tootin'. Well, this is never a good sign. I'd stay out of Tranquil Woods if I were you. Why is that? The, ro the rain has caused a lot of landslides. The road isn't there anymore. We'll need to make a new road, and when we do, we'll be counting on your help. I'd be glad to. I think you're being trolled. I'm just saying. The coming of the Malachim are a gift from the Empyreans. A reward for our repentance and our renewed prayers. The Malachim are our blades against the demons. And the exorcists the hands that wield them. Humanity's hope. You never change. Want me to take you home this time? No! Don't treat me like I'm senile! Whoa. Ah, okay. It's you, Velvet. Be careful when fighting prickle boars. If they charge you, punch them in the nose, right? No! Throw sand in their oh, eyes! That sounds awful. Sand in the eyes. Got it. You finally started listening to me. You're 16. You've really grown. Really? Yeah. 16? But aren't you 19? Leave her be. Eh. You always did look out for me, dear. Your brother is a good boy. He'll be just fine. Never let go of hope, Velvet. I won't. And thanks. I've, I've had some some problems. Arturius is so mean. I I can't even... Velvet, I, uh, it's been fun. forever. Great to see you. You haven't changed a whit. What do you mean by that? Uh... <laughs> have you seen Nico yet? I have. She's as full of life as she always was, right? Come to think of it. Nothing's really changed much, has it? I suppose not. By the way, how are Orthy and Russ doing? Those pups haven't changed a whit either. They saw a guy with a big sword walking with a dour-eyed fellow in black. They freaked out and hightailed it. That would be Rokuro and Aizen. Yep. Those dogs are as cowardly as always. So, what part of Velvet hasn't changed a whit? Hmm. Yep. She doesn't have any makeup on? Uh-huh. Okay. Oh goodness, I'm so very glad you're safe. You're safe. You're not safe, but you're safe. Velvet, it was worth staying single all this time. Oh boy. Time to cheese it. Vroom vroom. Was there a cat's orb box here, or was that in the other area? Probably the other area. Between the cold, the famine, and the demon blight, there were times I thought the world was done for. But over the past three years, I've stopped worrying. I know we're overly reliant on Arthur and the exorcists, but this village has changed. 
The exorcists taught us that there are things the demons hate. We can't defeat them, but we can keep them away. It's peaceful now. Exorcists stop by on patrol every now and then. We haven't had a case of demon blight since what happened to your sister was horrible. But you and Lafayette should try to move on. Make the most of your lives. I hope he wakes up soon. I'm sure he will. Hmm. I'm sure a lot's happened to you since you disappeared, but as long as you're back safe, that's what counts. You should probably get some rest. Your friends are welcome here too, of course. We don't have a lot, but feel free to stay as long as you'd like. Hey. hey. Could I get some eggs, milk, spinach, and tomatoes? And I'd love to know what cheese you'd recommend too. You got it. And in celebration of your homecoming, I won't even charge. With you cooking up a feast like that, I'm sure Lafayette will wake up straight away. Thanks. I really appreciate it. You're getting spinach? I can't really handle it myself. You'll never grow up strong if you don't eat your spinach, young lady. I've done just fine without it so far, thank you. Mm. <laughs> oh, if you insist, I'll leave it out just this once. Wow, Velvet, you must be special. Not many folks get to be friends with an exorcist. She's not, not my, my friend. friend. <laughs> <laughs> the way you two bicker, I find that hard to believe. Oh, yeah. Do you have any prickle bore? Oh, I'm sorry to say that I'm out at the moment. That's fine. I'll hunt some up myself in the tranquil woods. Just like old times. Actually, there haven't been any prickle bores there lately. You should try the Morgana Woods instead. Okay, I'll do that. Thanks for the tip. Hmm. You don't like spinach, right, Eleanor? Well, you know, I just... All right, it's true. But keep that between us, okay? Why? Velvet really seemed to be enjoying herself at the shop. Quite. And she can really pick out a nice balance of foods while making every gold count. She seems so cheerful and carefree. That's the real Velvet. I'm sure of it. Yes. An ordinary, dutiful, loving sister. I wish she could have stayed that way. She could have lived a happy life, surrounded by her friends. Yep, coulda, woulda, shoulda. Just plain Velvet Crow. Sister to Lord Artorius. Uh, and maybe not Lord Artorius, but just plain Arthur. A happy, ordinary life for an ordinary girl, with a kind family and supportive friends. It would have been good. Once Lafayette said is better, you'll be back to your old life. Don't you worry, that boy has a strong spirit. He'll wake up before too long. Alrighty, to the Morgana Woods to hunt some prickle boars. Yeah, sure. Um, is that this way? I'll assume yes. Defending the village is harder than ever, which makes your return all the more welcome. You're tougher and more reliable than the average man, after all. Well, the Morgana Woods. Hmm. All right, let's get ourselves to where. Ooh, I challenge you. I challenge you. I'm not sure to what, but I challenge you. There we go. Those are the most of ideal situations, but just flat. I was a 30 holy you're not hurt are you uh, no I'm fine all right the crimson veil is now a dunzo for our our gal here where are you the crimson veil will go to the fellow spot garment and we be on our way all right We're looking for prickle boars. Keep your eyes on the thickets. Keep your eyes on the thickets. Yeah, yeah. That is not the turn that I thought I was going to make. That was not it at all. It was a pretty good day so far today, ladies and gentlemen. Got to go to lunch with my wife, which is always good. Be able to spend a little bit of time together. 
We are busy people. And we don't actually get to spend that much time together, so whenever we can do so, it is always a fantastic and really nice thing, so I am quite, quite smitten with being able to do that. Hello, Prickle Ball. I feel like we easily handled that. How do we get so much experience for that? This is hunting? <laughs> we keep this up and who knows how many we'll bring home. This is hunting? Yeah, murder. It's it's literally murder, Lafayette, in case you were curious. Oh, well, we gotta do more, huh? Oh, okay. Alright, sorry. I, I thought we were done, but apparently not. Okay. Do, 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 do. Onward! All right, we may, probably not, but we may actually have enough to open the cat's ore box. Two fifty. Yes, I would like to open it. Wow. Oh, I got a therapy cat. Oh, gosh. What is a therapy cat? Why does it exist? Uh. Oh, it's on her head. Oh, no. No. Where, where's the other guy? There we go. That's better. Magilu really meant dog. She just accidentally said cat. That's what it was. We can do this. Uh, yeah. If, if we couldn't do this, there'd be something severely wrong. I'm not one to go easy. Ooh, you killed like the things that we could fight at level one. I'm so impressed. We should probably turn back. There we go. Nice casual little run on over here. And Prickle Bar! Rising Falcon. What's this? Are we done already? Yeah, we are. Okay, this should be enough. How much are you feeding? Or how many are you feeding? What's wrong? Nothing. I just feel a little sorry for them is all. Uh. I hear you. These prickle boars might have all been family. People can be so heartless. Uh, yeah. I've forgotten this feeling. But what can you do? At the end of the day, we have to eat just as much as they do. Yep. Yes. What can you do in this situation indeed? Huh. Enjoy your meal. Us. We should run on home now. Laffy. 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 Let's go. Onward. We go right now. Alright, so. I don't know where this leads. Let's go see where this actually spits us out at. I may stop and do a little bit, a little bit of murder along the way. Don't know. Not entirely positive. But I feel like a little bit of murder can go a long way, so... We're going to check it out. Caw, 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 caw. What's up, man? You don't think we have a chance? Do you see the amount of sheer awesomeness I just performed? Did you see the things that I just did to those ogres? They stood no chance. Oh, I missed, I missed with the blue flamethrower. Aww. Yeah, you did something there. Devour. Alright. Stop fooling around. But I'm serious about my fooling around. We know. We know. Whoa. Kaka kaka. Ooh, treasure loot. 
Huh. Could technically leave here if I really wanted to. However, aww. However, I really didn't want to, so. Blue Inferno! Got him! And dead? Dead. My goodness, we cast some serious nastiness at people. And you, sir, are done. Did you see that? I beat it. All right, another level up. Coo, coo, coo. All right, let's get some some moving on here. We got our boogie board. Let's boogie. Let us boogie. And we will return home because that's what we're supposed to do. Uh, yeah. No, we're gonna go up this way. <laughs> and then from here, just basically go all the way east. I know, not the most exciting stuff to see me surfing around on my hoverboard of doom. But it's still a lot of fun for me. I guess that could be a little bit of fun for you guys as well. I'm still really curious as to what's actually going on. And I think it's going to be terrible whenever we figure out what's going down. So, you know, there's that to look forward to if you guys are cruel and horrible people. Going to totally break and shatter Velvet's very delicate mind balance. It's not going to be great. Hopefully she's okay, but we'll see. We shall see. Laughing with friends? That was how her life used to be, wasn't it? Yes. It reminds me of my own past. Huh? But wasn't your village... Uh, I'm sorry. It's not your fault. Might have been. The happy times I shared with my family, I still treasure those memories. And even after the attack, I've still been able to find happiness. Oh, there you go. Eating a good meal, making new friends. And falling in love. <laughs> that was yes, creepy. Falling in love? <sighs> Look what you made me say, Bianfu. There's nothing to be ashamed of. Most every girl's happiest memories are of her first love, after all. Uh. Don't you think there was someone special out there Velvet had feelings for? A first love? Do you really think so? Maybe. That's enough of that talk, Bianfu. You sound like an old man. No! I'm only 150 years old and already being treated like an old man! I know. Man. Rough stuff, man. I feel your pain. <laughs> but still, I would like to meet the guy Velvet first fell for. I wouldn't. Oh! I see. You're a guy. Yep, yeah, he is. Last time he checked. Alright, we're going to get over to the edge of this place, and then we're going to break off the episode. We'll return and see what's going down in the next one. Things have definitely taken an interesting yet disturbing twist, and I am definitely curious and interested to see what goes down. Oh, nothing special there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for right now. Until the very next episode, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>